So on the part of the results, you have to check each of these results uh, one by one. So these are normal, just like the casing where only that we have formations in this part. We also get to view the formations that we have at each depth, which is not in casing where. So you can get out the results depending on what you want to determine. If you want to determine the torque and drag while tip, tripping in or tripping out, so you can uh, click on any of them whenever it brings away something like this that you fix an error on multiple uh, fields. You come here where it is showing you in blue. You left click. So it will take you to where the error should be filled. So they want you to put in decide on the part of analysis the pump rate uh, I'm going to put a pump rate of uh, 200 gallons per minute so we also have to put in uh, the maximum overpool percentage I'm going to use 80% so if you want to use uh, blended stress magnification you can select it the stiff strain is selected if it's viscous drug you can also select it so you can see that we are having the results for drug tripping in uh, the hoop the radio the torsion the shear axial and all this so if you want to check any other maybe back rimming when we are back rimming what will be the side effects that we shall face you click on the fix so it brings you decide on the part of back rimming which is not filled. You click on fix operation so it takes it direct. So when you are tripping, what is the RPM? Maybe the RPM is at uh, uh, let's use 30 RPM. Then the speed out tripping in. Uh, I'm going to use uh, 30 also. So, the rotation at the bottom, you can put it in that, yes, we have rotation, and I'm going to put it at 15. Uh, and the torque, I'm going to put it at 200. So, if there is slide reading, we also put it in. But we are interested in back rimming, so I'm going to first, okay, let me leave all of them so that we can get... So I'll also use this at 15 and use this at 200. So the ever pull uh, we can say at 20 and then we can say 200. So uh, so these are the results of back rimming. So that's how we do our data analysis. We keep checking and we see uh, which part is not okay so you have to do the same thing for example now we got cementing and we want to know you have to understand uh, maybe you want to understand the ECD they come here on ECD you click on ECD and you want to see the results so it's having a lot of issues that are not resolved so you fix operation one by one are saying cementing is why the percentage of standoffs I will use 80 what is the reservoir measure depth um, from our uh, I will say the reservoir measure depth is at uh, uh, is at 1600 fracture measure depth I will put it at 1800 800 from this side so I scroll downwards from this I can scroll downwards and then I can put in the uh, ability required so it is always between a range of 3 and 600 where well, range is 200 so calculate the range entire open hole section yes i want the whole open section if you want the entire top to bottom measure depth you click on it 
there's no problem so we continue you read the adjustment the safety factor psi i'll say 1000 and now then they are saying find the job that is okay allow the overflow and the displacement i'm not going to allow uh casing injection path casing annulus stroke reverse yeah you can use the annulus so let's use, let's use the casing and then we are going down to fill the rest including the surface temperature which is uh it is 80 the mud outlet temperature which is also uh we can say it's at 80 bottom hole saturating temperature can be higher maybe it's at 100 so we scroll down to scroll down and see if there any if there's anything else so we are done fixing that part we got the next uh, they are saying fix the length of cement left in the casing so length of cement left in the casing uh, okay we can fix it's not i'm not seeing it but i'm going to find it So this is for the cementing job. Okay. This is for the cementing job. I'm going to fix. Uh, that is a challenge with uh, with this data analysis. Sometimes you look for something and you really have to look for it so right now I'm looking for this okay now I find it the length of cement left in the casing I'm going to say it's only 2 meters after 2 meters is so much 1 meter volume you can use the top plug and I try to avoid all this so here we have our breathing fluid which is mud and then uh, they're asking what is the rate per minute you can say 200 and then we can also take uh, 200 is quite out of range. They come and place it here. It is supposed to be between 20 to 30. So we can use 25. 25 and 25. So this is part of that analysis. It really takes some time. And uh, but if you persist, you will be able to change it so we have different fluid types this mud second one can be a spacer and uh, the third one can be cement so we should be able to view all this say 